Alrighty, now how do y'all welcome back to Flight Simulator. Now, in uh, today's episode, they released the World Update 2, the USA Update. I'm recording this on November 28th, but this video won't go up until the 1st of the month. So, we got different things we can do. Uh, actually, I need to update some stuff like this. I need to update that. I need to do it off. I'm going to do that at some point in time because I forgot to do that. So we're going to continue off in our flight training here. In the last episode, we did takeoff and level flight. And in today's episode, we're going to do landing. Here we go. What goes up must come down. In this training session, you will focus on the key technique for successful landings. We are going to manage speed and glide path on the final approach. Flare the aircraft to touch down smoothly and brake after landing in the aircraft safely. And this is going to be around 4 minutes long. Alrighty, so we're going to want to come in at 65 knots. Cut our engine when we get like down here. Just cut our engine all the way. And then we can brake right when we hit the tarmac. Land the airspeed and rate of descent are reduced such that it's been stated low enough in rate to allow for a gentle touch down. See, if I have not, where we got to come in, the instant, wait, I, I feel like I didn't read that one. I'll maintain the same altitude to reduce the throttle will look, yeah. Reducing your throttle reduces altitude, increasing throttle raises altitude. Land the airspeed and rinse in. Okay, that's the same. When extending flaps, you need to lower the nose of your aircraft to maintain your speed, which makes it also easier to see over the nose. Stall speed of with flap focus in it is 40. So if we get to 40, we're stalling. So here we go. My first instructor used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. The man was a terminal pessimist, but he wasn't wrong. Today, oh, you're in weird. charge of bringing us in for oh. a safe landing. Okay. All right. We've got okay. clearance for a straight in approach, so we don't have to complete the standard traffic pattern. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. We're on the glide slope now. Maintain speed around 65 knots. Change your pitch if you need to, and keep your aim point on the runway number. When you're targeting the runway number, you want to keep it steady in your sights. If it looks like the number is moving up in your windscreen, you're coming in low. You'll need to add a bit more throttle to get back on the slope. If it looks like the number is moving down in your windscreen, well, then you're too high. You'll need to add flaps to increase your rate of descent. But you'll also need to push forward and trim to change your attitude and right, maintain as we the are, same speed. We're going off to the side here. So if we hit F8, watch our flaps, it'll be fully extended. In this, in the little Cessna, this has uh, uh, 152 and 172, you do not need. Oh, our throttle is already gone. You do not need to. Um, down a little bit. Alright, we gotta get back on the uh, slope here. So this is where we're, we're just gliding in here, coming in for a landing. I think the best... Keep your aim 
point on the runway threshold. When, we're when here, you're 10 we gotta... feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Once we pass the threshold, shift your aim point to right. the end of the runway. Then pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose where just we're, above it. We're coming in here. We're not on par with the runway, so we gotta use our rudder to how much wind we got going here. Actually, I can't do this. I can't. Whoa. Okay, we're past uh, the threshold. Start no, the flare. No, 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 I screwed that up. Keep right, pulling so back slowly. Let the plane do this. settle onto the runway. Don't push it down, but don't do this, let it do start this, climbing. Do this. Andy, general. There we go. And we nice. landed. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a and stop. And we landed her. Here. Job. As they say, any landing you can walk it wasn't the best landing because I was trying to get a thumbnail. But, but if you can use the plane the next day, it's outstanding. Landings can be hard, even for seasoned pilots. Trust me, don't hesitate to practice. After all, we got that's what we're here Thank for, right? Have. So that was today's episode of Flight Simulator. So in the next episode, we're going to be working on traffic patterns here. So. I will be seeing y'all in the next episode of Flight Simulator. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit that notification bell to get notified on all my upcoming Flight Simulator videos.